Hello and welcome to Revenge of the Egghead. Let's meet the five contestants hoping to get one over on CJ today. I'm James, I'm a financial analyst from Manchester. I'm Amanda, I work with people with disabilities and I'm from Barnet. I'm Paul, I'm a deputy club manager from North London. I'm Anne, I'm an emergency surgery coordinator from Dorset. I'm Dave, I'm a community pharmacist from Dundee. Well, welcome to you all and good luck. And as you know, in order to win any money today, you will need to outsmart this man over here, CJ Demui. How are you today? Raring to go. Confident? Oh, you're always confident, aren't you? When I walked into the studio, there was a little whiff of nervousness. How quickly a whiff becomes a stench. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you, you've been, as always, revising on something. What is it this time? As with any quizzer, you need to know all the political leaders. So I've been learning their middle names. Oh, I see. So David Cameron is what? Uh, William Donald. OK. Obama? Uh, famously, Hussein. Barack Hussein. Yes, now you mention it, I knew that. What about Putin? What's his middle name? Vladimir Vladimirovich. Putin. So it's not very imaginative. No, is I was going to say, <laughs> somebody gave up trying there. All right. Well, good luck to you. I won't wish him luck because he usually doesn't need it. Here's how it works. None of you have met each other before today, but you'll be building up a prize fund together now by individually answering general knowledge questions. Each correct answer will add £200 to the pot, but be very careful because if CJ knows your answer is wrong, he can stop play like this. Hits his red buzzer, and once the lights go on and the red light flashes, he has the chance to ask you one of his own specially devised questions, questions he's written himself, and they are beastly. If you get that wrong, you will lose one of the lives that are lit up in front of you, lose two lives, and you're out of the game. Whoever survives to the end of the game will have a shot at sharing the prize money. Shall we begin? OK, James, you go first. Here's your question. In which decade of the 20th century did Michael Jackson release the album Thriller? Uh, the 1980s. 1980s is quite right. Well done. £200. <laughs> Over to you, Amanda. Ramses the Great was king of which ancient civilization? Egypt. Egypt is correct. Another £200. You're up to 400 How about that? Couldn't be easier. He's not even in the game yet. Paul, which footballer has sons called Kai and Clay. Wayne Rooney? Wayne Rooney is correct. £200 more, 600 OK, here we go, Anne, your question. What was the Amoco Cadiz which made news headlines in 1978? A shipwreck. Yes, I will accept that. It was an oil tanker that ran aground off Brittany. £800, you're on. Dave, which actor's last film was 1967's A Countess from Hong Kong? Sophia Loren. <laughs> Sophia Loren, but yes. CJ's buzzed. Well, Sophia Loren is not an actor, she's an actress. Um, I really don't know this. No idea. Oh, right, I thought you were buzzing with such I conviction. You're going to give us hoping, an answer. I was hoping something would occur to me. Charlie Chaplin is the answer, mm. not Sophia Loren. And I think we can refer to women as actors, actually. We can. With, actor doesn't necessarily mean it's a man. OK. So, Dave, you didn't add any money to the pot with your incorrect answer. But CJ's failed to give us the correct one, so you don't have to go to the hot spot. Great. OK, James. £800, you're on. Galloping Home was the signature tune to which classic children's TV series? Black Beauty. Black Beauty is correct. You're up to £1,000. You're actually playing very well. No lives lost. Hardly a crease yet. Even Dave's wrong answer didn't cost you. Not that much. Amanda. Which star sign has a name that comes from the Latin word meaning water bearer? Aquarius. Aquarius is correct. You're up to £1,200. Paul, Believe Acoustic is a 2013 album by which Canadian singer? Celine Dion. <coughs> Celine Dion. I guess that it's a new one by Michael Bublé. No, it's Justin Bieber. So there's some honour in not having heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Justin Bieber was the answer there. But he didn't get it right. So he's failed to bring you to the hotspot. So I imagine now, having gone round one and a half times, he's getting a bit frustrated. And you can only be frustrated with yourself, CJ. And here's your question. Atlantic City is a famous resort in which US state? Nevada. 
Nevada. CJ New Spanish. Jersey. CJ says New Jersey, and he is correct. It is not Nevada, although there's a lot of gambling goes on there. And you got it wrong. CJ has caught you out, which means you will have to take your place on the hot spot and face one of his multiple choice questions and risk losing one of those precious lives. Watch out as well. These questions are particularly difficult because CJ has written them himself. It is time to face the egghead. What are you thinking, CJ? Finally got your hot spot moment. It's about time, isn't it? Anne. What is typically mixed with gin to make a dog's nose cocktail? Angostura bitters, black currant, rum, beer. What do you think, Anne? Have you had one of the dog's nose cocktails? I don't like gin at all. I'm going to go for rum. CJ? The correct answer is beer. Beer. You're going to lose a life, and Please return to your fellow players. All right. Well, not to worry. It was storming play up to this point, but you have now lost a life, so I take a light off you. £1,200, you're on. Dave, it's your turn. Which British darts player is known as the Crafty Cockney? Eric Bristow. Eric Bristow is correct. £200 in the pot, up to £1,400. James, in which decade was the UK television series Doctor Who first broadcast? The 1950s. 1950s. 23rd of November, 1963. 60s. That's the same week as JFK was killed. The day after. Day after. CJ is correct. It was the 60s. Your decades didn't let you down with Michael yeah. Jackson, but they have done now, James. You're going to have to go on the hot spot and face the egghead. <laughs> James. What was the occupation of Paul Sweedlepipe in Dickens' Martin Chuzzlewit? Lawyer, barman, barber, jailer. Another classic Dickensian name there, uh, but not one that I'm too familiar with. So I'm going to say he was a barber. OK. What do you think, CJ? Is he right? It's barber. Well done to you, James. Nice work. You've still got your two lives. Please return to your fellow players. Well, you've only lost one life between you so far. You're playing rather well, and lives really keep you solid in the final round. They're very, very important. £1,400 you're on. Could sense CJ getting a bit hot under the collar here. OK, Amanda, your question. Chon McGay is a traditional haircut for men in which country? China. China is the wrong answer, but CJ didn't buzz. Japan is the answer. So you earned no money, but he has not called you out. Paul, your question. You're on £1,400, players. Skyscraper was a UK number one single for which talent show winner in December 2013? Skyscraper. Um, I don't really watch talent shows. Um, Michael Potts. <laughs> Michael Potts. Firstly, it's Paul Potts, but this was Sam Bailey. Yeah, it was Sam Bailey. Was that the X Factor? Uh, apparently one of those things. How do you know that if you don't even watch it? Because it reached number one, and I know my number one lists. See, he's learning lists every day. Sam Bailey is the correct answer, Paul. You got it wrong. He challenged you successfully. So you are now going to have to go to the hot spot and take on the egghead. <laughs> What are you looking for here, CJ? It's a deputy club manager, so it could be quite well-rounded. Let's try a bit of geography for you, Paul. Which Spanish coastal region contains the towns of Marbella and Torremolinos? Costa Brava, Costa del Sol, Costa Blanca, Costa Dorada. Ah, well, they're all down the east coast of Spain, really, aren't they? And they're all pretty much one after the other. It's not a part of the world I've ever been to. I... I'm going to plump for Costa del Sol. Costa del Sol. Here's hoping, Paul. It's the Costa del Sol. Well done, Paul. Please return to your fellow players. Well, now, this is interesting because he is just not winkling you out here. He's only got one life off you since the start of the game. And that's going to spell trouble for you, isn't it? 
if it was to remain like that, it would do. So, £1,400 in the pot so far, and you have the next question. The wildebeest is also known by which three-letter name? GNU. GNU is correct. £1,600. Do you live on the edge of a deer park? I do. Does that help? <laughs> but they don't have any GNUs. <laughs> OK, over to you, Dave. Which playwright wrote The Seagull and Uncle Vanya? Chekhov. Anton Chekhov. Anton Chekhov is the right answer. Well done, Dave. £200 more to you. £1,800. Near to 2000 now. James, which song written by Peter Dodds McCormick is the national anthem of Australia? Not Waltzing Matilda. <laughs> Waltzing Matilda is your answer. Don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't remember if it's three words or just two. Uh, I think I'm going to miss out a word here. I think there's a word before it, but it's... I think it's something else, but... Australia Fair. Yeah, you're not quite there. Advance Australia oh, Fair. You're very close, EJ, but I can't give it to you. Well done, James. You're not on the hot spot again. But you didn't make any money with that answer because you got it wrong. OK, Amanda. Who was the last English monarch to win the throne on the battlefield? Henry V. <coughs> Henry V. Henry the Seventh. Henry the Seventh is the correct answer. He successfully buzzed you. I thought it was Richard the Third. He was the, la the last one to die. On he was the, the die in the battle. When Henry the Seventh came after him. Oh, I see. Okay. There we are. That's me told. Amanda, it is time to go to the hot spot and face the egghead. <laughs> so, when you're not working, what do you enjoy doing? Uh, I'm keen baker. Baking. Okay. Yes. Which question, CJ? Which question area? Not food and drink, I'm guessing. So it's American sport for you, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my baking questioning didn't get you into trouble there. I'm sorry. Amanda, which US city's baseball team are known as the Giants? San Francisco, New York, Dallas, Chicago. I don't think it's Dallas, because I think that's the Dallas Cowboys. Chicago. So you think it's the Chicago Giants. CJ, is she right or has she lost a life? It's San Francisco. Amanda, I'm sorry, you have got it wrong. It's not Chicago, it's San Francisco. Please return to your fellow players. Amanda, you lose a life. But you're still in there. And there's 1,800 pounds in the pot. Paul, let's see if you can get it to 2,000. Here is your question. Of what is acrophobia the fear? It's acro, A-C-R-O. A C R O. Acrophobia. Um, uh, fear of um, sand. Fear of sand, CJ. Don't know. Heights? Heights is the correct answer. How did you do that? It's something in the back. So he's got it right. <laughs> something in the back. And you got it wrong, and it's going to be the hot spot. You have to take on the egghead. <laughs> Now, pick something a little bit easier here. Is oh, I'm one? sorry. I'm sorry, Paul. I've, I've been giving you tricky questions. Terribly sorry. <laughs> OK, let's go for a little quiz chestnut, one that everybody knows. Paul, how many hearts does an octopus have? One, two, three, four. Do you know, I've read this somewhere. You should get it right, then. It was a long time ago. I'm going to plump for free. So I, I'm thinking it can't be one because it wouldn't be a quiz chestnut if it's one. You, unless that's the most tricky set of options you've ever given us. But say so three. Is it three? It's three. <laughs> you survived it for a second time and you're actually annoying him a bit now. Well done, Paul. You can return to your fellow players. So, Paul, you survived the hotspot for a second time. You've still got two lives, but you're a little bit stuck on £1,800. Let's get to 2000 And on one life. What is the longest river in Scotland? The D. The D is your answer. The Tay. The Tay is the correct answer. Dave was smiling. You would have got that, Dave, would you? got that one, yes. CJ's got it right, and you've got it wrong. I'm sorry. It is time once again to take on the eggheads. <laughs> what does it feel like up there? Horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. You keep winding him up just before I come on. No, I keep <laughs> telling I always say, be polite and be nice, and it never works. You have only got one life left, so I please know. get this right. We don't want to lose you. All right, Anne. To give you something to think about on the ride home, which was the first European nation to win the Football World Cup? 
Germany, Italy, England, France. Time to work out how long the World Cup's been going. Germany. Your answer is Germany. If it's wrong, you'll be out of the contest. I hope it's not wrong. CJ. The correct answer is Italy. Oh, Anne, I'm sorry. Another wrong answer. And unfortunately, that was your last life. Thanks for playing. Thank you. But you are out of the game and out of the money. The egghead has had his revenge. Well, it's always painful when there's a space there suddenly. And knowing that CJ takes some kind of satisfaction from it as well doesn't help. But still, £1,800 is something about the 2,000 mark is jinxing us a bit. See if we can get it to 2,000. Four of you left. Dave, you've got two lives here. The actress Karen Johnson, who won an Oscar in 1991, is better known by which name? Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn. <coughs> CJ. Is that the real name of Cher? No, it's... I thought you would know this. Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, of course. Oscar in 1991. Ghost, yes. You got away with it there. Oh, you got okay. it wrong. He got it wrong as well. You get no money, but he doesn't call you out. James, you have the next question. How are you feeling, James, over there? Good. Feeling lucky. The House of Orange Nassau is the royal family of which country? The Netherlands. The Netherlands is correct. <laughs> Come on, tell us what you were going to say so we could all laugh. I was going to say it was something like the Netherlands Antilles or something. <laughs> well, you would have been wrong anyway. <laughs> So you get an extra £100, you get the 200 plus another 100 because you were right and he was wrong. How about that? Yes, it is the <laughs> Netherlands, James. Well done. 2,100. £300 for that one answer. OK, Amanda, I know you're on one life. Yep. Let's forge on through here. Just ignore him. Don't look at him. Joe Wilfred Songa is a famous name in which sport? Tennis. Tennis is correct. There we go. Wasn't that bad? 2,300. Pull. Which war memorial in London's Whitehall takes its name from the Greek words meaning empty tomb? The Unknown Soldier. The Unknown Soldier, CJ. Cenotaph. Cenotaph, yeah, is he? Yeah, yeah, just down I right in the middle there, yeah. yeah. So you have to once again go to the hot spot. It is time to take on the eggheads. <laughs> How many has it been now? Yeah, it's a Third, and you still got two lives. So, whatever you're doing, CJ, is not working against Paul. Okay, let's try to get one of your lives. British history. In which decade was the first TV license issued? 1930s, 1940s, 1950s, 1960s. Ooh, well, TV started in this country in 1936. That, of course, doesn't mean the licence is started immediately. And TV really kicked in in 1953 with the coronations. I don't know, so I'm going to go for the 1950s. 1950s, I like your logic there, though. And I guess the war decade maybe too wouldn't have been on. a time. Too much going on, maybe, I don't know. CJ? It's the 1940s. Ah, the 1940s is the answer. So you did get that one wrong, Paul. Please return to your fellow players. <laughs> Paul, I have to take away one of your lives. You've still got one left. Dave, you've got two. Amanda on one. James still on two, playing a good game there. So between you, six lives, four players, £2,300 in the pot. Not bad at all. The klaxon could go at any time. CJ, looking worried. Yes, he does. He really does look worried, which is good. That's how we want it at this stage. <laughs> OK, Dave, I'll rattle on. Don't want us to be interrupted. Cicatrix is the medical name for what type of skin blemish? And that's spelled C I C A T R I X. I should know this one. <laughs> You're a pharmacist. Freckle. A freckle? No, the answer is scar. Mm. Cicatrix is scar, but CJ did not know. I know it wasn't freckle, but I, I had no idea, to be honest. <laughs> Dave, you got off the hook there. Oh, no, Close I don't know what yes. you're doing there, yeah. but it's working. It's working. Two lives left. James, also. Ah. The klaxon has gone, so that was the last question. Four of you have survived to play in the final. You've built up a prize pot of £2,300, and now you have the chance to take that money home. There is one problem, though. You've got to beat the egghead. 
So there is £2,300 up for grabs and four of you left. If you can prove yourselves better than CJ, you will win the money. But he's going to do everything he can to stop you. Now, I'm going to ask CJ ten general knowledge questions. However many he answers correctly will become your target to beat. Are you ready, CJ? I'm annoyed, certainly. <laughs> well, it's a perfect moment for us to start playing then. Ten questions. Here's your first. Who plays Jean Valjean in the 2012 film Les Miserables? Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman is correct. One out of one. Next question. Which British political party celebrated its 100th anniversary in 2000? Labour. Labour is correct. Two out of two. Which hairy biker appeared in Strictly Come Dancing in 2013? No idea. I think one of the hairy bikers is called Dave, and that's as much as I know, so I don't know. Any of you know? Dave Meyer. Dave Myers. Amanda's got it. You got it wrong, CJ. You got two out of three. Next question. In internet terminology, what does the abbreviation FTP stand for? Don't know that one. Um, haven't come across that. I know quite a few of these, but that one seems to have passed me by. Um, assuming it's just an acronym for some form of text speak. Um, no idea. For the people. Miles off. File transfer protocol. Two out of four. The Missouri Foxtrotter is a breed of which type of animal? No idea. Cow. CJ, it's a horse. We've got two out of five. Triton is a moon of which planet? Is that Triton? Triton, T-R-I-T-O-N. Well, Saturn is Titan. So it's either, I think, Jupiter or Neptune. Neptune would be the logical answer. I don't know. I'll try Neptune. Neptune is correct. Three out of six. Next question. In Greek mythology, which architect and inventor is said to have built the labyrinth for King Minos? Daedalus. Daedalus is right. Four out of seven. Southwold is a seaside town in which English county? Got no idea. Dorset. Anyone know Southwold? Suffolk. Suffolk it is. I mean, you just English geography is it's almost beyond a joke, isn't it? <laughs> four, <laughs> four out of eight. Oh, you're struggling here. In December 2007, which American boxer became the first man to defeat Ricky Hatton in his professional career? Manny Pacquiao? You mean Manny Pacquiao by any chance, but it's not him anyway. Mm. Floyd Mayweather Jr. He was my first thought. I thought he was too heavy. You got four out of nine. Which is awful. Last question. What is the surname of Clint Eastwood's Dirty Harry? Callahan. Callahan is right. I thought you were going to say, oh, Callahan. That was going to be horrible. <laughs> horrible, man. OK, but you got half of them right. Five out of ten. You think that's enough to win? It, it certainly shouldn't be. Well, CJ's annoyed with himself. Now you need to make him annoyed with you. James, Amanda, Paul and Dave, you have your target now. You can work together as a team to beat it. You have six lives remaining. Give me a wrong answer and you will lose a life. If you beat CJ's target before you've lost all your lives, you win the £2,300. So let's play. The Corova Milk Bar appears in which controversial novel published in 1962? Clockwork Orange. That's what I would say. Clockwork Orange. Clockwork Orange is the right answer. What is the hometown of The Simpsons? Springfield. Springfield. Springfield is correct. You've got two rights. CJ got five. You've got to go past five. You've got six lives remaining. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war is a quotation from which Shakespeare play? I'm pretty sure it's one of the histories. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Henry. What do you say? No, I just no. I mean, you're Henry. I just don't know. Henry the Fourth. Henry the Fourth is not the answer. It's Julius Caesar. You lose a life. You're down to five. That's still quite a handsome number of lives. Teams have started with fewer lives than that and taken the money. He got five, which helps you as well. You're on two. You've got to overhaul him. What type of animal is a pipistrelle? It's a bat. It's a bat. Bat is correct. Well done. You're on three. Just three more to go. Five lives remaining. £2,300 in the pot. Which fruit is depicted on the top of the Wimbledon Men's Singles Champions Cup? Pineapple. You're playing well. Pineapple's right. Oh, come on. You're on four. You just need two more right answers for £2,300. Traditional Russian valenki are worn on which part of the body? That's what would that be the it came into my head, but I don't know. I was the only thing I'm thinking about traditional Russian is a hat. Yeah, feet came into my head as well. Yeah. I have no Should idea. Feet? Um, it sounds no, plural. Yeah, no, try it. Not that I speak Russian. Feet. Feet is right. So you've had six questions, you've got five rights, and you're now level with CJ. One more correct answer and you've won the prize money. You still have five lives left as well. What is the oldest institution of higher education in the United States? If you get this right, you've got the money. Harvard. Harvard comes into my head with Princeton. Should we go? Yeah, yeah. Should we go Harvard? I think it's Harvard, but... You think it's Harvard? But I, I don't <laughs> know. Do you have an inkling at all? No, no, the yale came into my mind when I heard it, but I'm not... Okay. It's two to one, I suppose. We should go for the one that Good all one of us think, think yeah. I guess. Right. Harvard. If you've got it wrong, you'll lose a life, but we play on. If you've got it right, you've won the money. And the question was, what is the oldest institution of higher education in the USA? And the answer is Harvard. Yay! 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 Well done, you made light work of your egghead over here. CJ, you looking crushed. I look crushed for my own performance. Five was absolutely miserable. Well, well done to you and very assured in the fight. Actually, assured all the way through. Even the very first time we went down the line, you, you scored well. You've beaten CJ's target. You take home the jackpot of £2,300. hope that feels good. Don't need really quizzing. Yeah. So, we'll get him into a recuperative situation somewhere. <laughs> Get your nerve back. Do join us then when CJ will be doing his best to restore his battered pride and crush another five contestants on Revenge of the Egghead. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Revenge of the Egghead. Let's meet the five contestants hoping to get one over on CJ today. I'm James, I'm a financial analyst from Manchester. I'm Amanda, I work with people with disabilities and I'm from Barnet. I'm Paul, I'm a Deputy Club Manager from North London. I'm Anne, I'm an Emergency Surgery Coordinator from Dorset. I'm Dave, I'm a Community Pharmacist from Dundee. Well, welcome to you all and good luck. And as you know, in order to win any money today, you will need to outsmart this man over here, CJ Demui. How are you today? Raring to go. Confident? Oh, you're always confident, aren't you? When I walked into the studio, there was a little whiff of nervousness. How quickly a whiff becomes a stench. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you, you've been, as always, revising on something. What is it this time? As with any quizzer, you need to know all the political leaders. So I've been learning their middle names. Oh, I see. So David Cameron is what? Uh, William Donald. OK. Obama? Uh, famously, Hussein. Barack Hussein, yes, now you mention it, I knew that. What about Putin? What's his middle name? Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin. So, it's not very imaginative, no, is it? No, I was going to say, <laughs> somebody gave up trying there. All right, well, good luck to you. I won't wish him luck, because he usually doesn't need it. Here's how it works. None of you have met each other before today, but you'll be building up a prize fund together now by individually answering general knowledge questions. Each correct answer will add £200 to the pot, but be very careful, because if CJ knows your answer is wrong, he can stop play like this. He hits his red buzzer, and once the lights go on and the red light flashes, 
He has the chance to ask you one of his own specially devised questions, questions he's written himself, and they are beastly. If you get that wrong, you will lose one of the lives that are lit up in front of you, lose two lives, and you're out of the game. Whoever survives to the end of the game will have a shot at sharing the prize money. Shall we begin? Okay, James, you go first. Here's your question. In which decade of the 20th century did Michael Jackson release the album Thriller? Uh, the 1980s. 1980s is quite right. Well done. £200. Over to you, Amanda. Ramses the Great was king of which ancient civilization? Egypt. Egypt is correct. Another £200. You're up to 400 How about that? Couldn't be easier. He's not even in the game yet. Paul, which footballer has sons called Kai and Clay. Wayne Rooney? Wayne Rooney is correct. £200 more, 600 OK, here we go, and your question. What was the Amoco Cadiz which made news headlines in 1978? A shipwreck. Yes, I will accept that. It was an oil tanker that ran aground off Brittany. £800, you're on. Dave, which actor's last film was 1967's A Countess from Hong Kong? Sophia Loren. <laughs> Sophia Loren, but yes. CJ's buzzed. Well, Sophia Loren is not an actor, she's an actress. Um, I really don't know this. No idea. Oh, right, I thought you were buzzing with such I conviction. You're going to give us hoping, an answer. I was hoping something would occur to me. Charlie Chaplin is the answer, mm. not Sophia Loren. And I think we can refer to women as actors, actually. We can, with, actor doesn't necessarily mean it's a man. OK. So, Dave, you didn't add any money to the pot with your incorrect answer. But CJ's failed to give us the correct one, so you don't have to go to the hot spot. Great. OK, James. £800, you're on. Galloping Home was the signature tune to which classic children's TV series? Black Beauty. Black Beauty is correct. You're up to £1,000. You're actually playing very well. No lives lost. Hardly a crease yet. Even Dave's wrong answer didn't cost you. Not that much. Amanda. Which star sign has a name that comes from the Latin word meaning water bearer? Aquarius. Aquarius is correct. You're up to £1,200. Paul, Believe Acoustic is a 2013 album by which Canadian singer? Celine Dion. <coughs> Celine Dion. I guess that it's a new one by Michael Bublé. No, it's Justin Bieber. So there's some honour in not having heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Justin Bieber was the answer there. But he didn't get it right. So he's failed to bring you to the hotspot. So I imagine now, having gone round one and a half times, he's getting a bit frustrated. And you can only be frustrated with yourself, CJ. And here's your question. Atlantic City is a famous resort in which US state? Nevada. Nevada. CJ New Bugs. Jersey. CJ says New Jersey, and he is correct. It is not Nevada, although there's a lot of gambling goes on there. And you got it wrong. CJ has caught you out, which means you will have to take your place on the hot spot and face one of his multiple choice questions and risk losing one of those precious lives. Watch out as well. These questions are particularly difficult because CJ has written them himself. It is time to face the egghead. <laughs> What are you thinking, CJ? Finally got your hotspot moment. It's about time, isn't it? Anne, what is typically mixed with gin to make a dog's nose cocktail? Angostura bitters, black currant, rum, beer. What do you think, Anne? Have you had one of the dog's nose cocktails? I don't like gin at all. I'm going to go for rum. CJ? The correct answer is beer. Beer. You're going to lose a life, and Please return to your fellow players. All right. Well, not to worry. It was storming play up to this point, but you have now lost a life, so I take a light off you. £1,200, you're on. Dave, it's your turn. Which British darts player is known as the Crafty Cockney? Eric Bristow. Eric Bristow is correct. £200 in the pot, up to £1,400. James, in which decade was the UK television series Doctor Who first broadcast? The 1950s. <coughs> 1950s. 23rd of November, 1963. 60s. That's the same week as JFK was killed. The day after. Day after. 
CJ is correct. It was the 60s. Your decades didn't let you down with Michael yeah. Jackson, but they have done now, James. You're going to have to go on the hot spot and face the egghead. James, what was the occupation of Paul Sweedlepipe in Dickens' Martin Chuzzlewit? Lawyer, barman, barber, jailer. Another classic Dickensian name there, uh, but not one that I'm too familiar with. So I'm going to say he was a barber. Okay. What do you think, CJ? Is he right? It's Barber. Well done to you, James. Nice work. You still got your two lives. Please return to your fellow players. Well, you've only lost one life between you so far. You're playing rather well, and lives really keep you solid in the final round. They're very, very important. Fourteen hundred pounds. You're on. Could sense CJ getting a bit hot under the collar here. Okay, Amanda. Your question. Chon McGay is a traditional haircut for men in which country? China. China is the wrong answer, but CJ didn't buzz. Japan is the answer. So you earned no money, but he has not called you out. Paul, your question. You're on 1,400 pounds, players. Skyscraper was a UK number one single for which talent show winner in December 2013? 